Hi, welcome to the In Industry Astrology New Moon Forecast for December of 2021, a solar eclipse. The moon is waning, the energy is diminishing. How are you feeling? The moon is waning. And on December 3rd at 11.43 p.m. Pacific time, the moon will cross in front of the sun creating a total eclipse, and then begin to wax again. Edgy, excited, uncertain, maybe doubtful or worried about the future. Eclipse seasons are edgy times, shaky times, a time, times that create disruption in patterns or challenge the status quo. And we're in between eclipses right now. We had a lunar eclipse on the last full moon, and now we're headed towards a total solar eclipse that will not be visible in most of the world, um, but it will be visible in South Africa, um, the very tip of South America, the bottom of New Zealand and um, Southern Australia as well. It's interesting, South Africa has been in the news lately as being the source of this most recent um, variant of the COVID um, virus. Um, you know, where an eclipse crosses is often um, creating some kind of upheaval, disruption. Sometimes it's earthquakes, literally on a physical level, or um, maybe social revolution and change as well, or it's just some kind of um, uncertainty, some, some kind of cutting force that can shake things up. On a personal level, we might feel this eclipse in many different ways, depending how it aspects our, our um, natal chart or if we're running a dasha of the sun or um, Rahu or Ketu. Now, to find that out, you can book an astrology reading with me one-on-one. -on -one. This new moon solar eclipse is in the area of the sky called Jaista, Jaista Nakshatra. Jaista is called the chief star or sometimes the queen star, the eldest sister star. It has to do with seniority, self-respect, and um, defending our rights, <laughs> defending our freedom, and also protecting the rights and freedoms of other people. Jaista Nakshatra is found in Sidereal Scorpio. This is the um, sidereal zodiac that we use in Vedic astrology. And the star that um, symbolizes Jaista is right at the heart of the scorpion. It's a red giant star called Antares, the rival of Mars. This red star is a star of war, just like the planet Mars is a, a planet of war. Now, Mars, just after this solar eclipse happens, is entering the sign of Scorpio. Um, actually, just a few hours after the eclipse on December 4th, Mars will enter into Scorpio. Now, Mars it rules Scorpio. This is his domicile, his domain. So he becomes very strong while he's in Scorpio. And this increases passion. It can create more courage and determination. In Scorpio, he has a really special kind of passion as well to really uncover secrets and dive deep within. Um, revealing hidden knowledge. But it does increase divisiveness or, or um, defensiveness in some people. So be aware, especially as Mars approaches K2, that um, tail of the snake that causes eclipses. K2 is this detached kind of inner energy. And so it will magnify Mars, heating it up, but also it has a sort of imploding. It works on um, a sort of... Um, uh, inner space, you could say. It can help make decisive actions, but it can also create a lot of frustration, I think, and um, impatience and doubt even maybe too, or at least some kind of reactivity to those things. And so, yeah, just be aware. This is a little bit of a dangerous period as Mars is crossing over K2 in Scorpio. And um, especially as he approaches at the end of the month on December 30th, he will cross over the degree in Scorpio that we're having this eclipse right over the degree of Jaista where the eclipse took place. And in Vedic astrology, this is how we time how the fruits of these eclipses come forward. So even though we're having the eclipse on December 3rd, 4th, depending on where you are, um, the effect of the eclipse will break through and come forward in some way on the 30th of December. And so there's a time period, a time lag, until Mars crosses that eclipse point and ignites the fire. 
um, a lot of um, pretty shocking events have happened in these kinds of sequences, like the um, terrorist attack of 9-11. That being said, it can also bring breakthroughs on a positive level in your life if you're ready for doing something independent or something um, that gives you a new sense of freedom. Now, another thing that happens as Mars crosses over K2 on December 13th is that it will um, create the alignment of all seven visible planets on one side of Rahu and K2. That's on one side of the eclipse axis. This is called Kala Sarpa Yoga, the serpent of time. And it does increase or I mean accelerate collective karma on a, on a sort of global level. Things can feel sped up. There's a more of a sense of kind of being swept up in destiny. There's um, a sort of, yeah, fadedness that can create disruptions in, say, the market or in governments. Kala Sarpa will continue until April of 2022. It's a very long process. And actually, 2022 is filled with some very interesting alignments, um, particularly in the first half of the year. I've been preparing the 2022 forecast that I'm going to be presenting on Zoom. I will be talking about how it affects each of the 12 Vedic signs, horoscopes for each of the 12 Vedic signs for the whole year of 2022. So uh, check it out. You can register for it. I will leave a link below in the description window and on my website anundastrology.com. Be sure to um, sign up soon. There's there's limited spaces available. Okay, so let's just see what the tarot cards have to say about this new moon solar eclipse coming up in Jaista Nakshatra. Okay, so the first card that came through is the Four of Wands, Fire. And the sense of coming home, maybe, you know, the holiday season is some of the most stressful time of the year here in the United States. And, you know, it's got a lot to do with coming back together again with people, with family, perhaps. And this, the stress of how to truly connect and find a sense of home. And then the hermit. Very interesting. You know, Jaista Nakshatra is um, connected to Mercury. And actually, this solar eclipse, Mercury is quite combust, this solar eclipse. An eclipsed Mercury can dive into some very deep areas into the subconscious, especially in Scorpio. So there's something here about this um, card, the hermit, around maybe the difficulties in feeling understood right now, having to look within, resource within, and find the light that guides you not from outside, but within, as much as possible. It's an interesting dynamic because then the third card, <laughs> that Mars, came through. Certainly is a very strong Martian kind of volatility around the solar eclipse and all through the rest of this uh, dis month, December. So be aware that there's... Um, just a shakiness sometimes and uncertainty and sometimes things need to be shaken up things need to come down you need to let go to let in something new something more true to your heart okay so let's take a look Coming back to the home within, finding the resource of your true center. Go within and see the shadow. You don't have to be afraid. 
what may seem shocking now will be seen as a blessing later. The world is changing and change is the only constant as you walk along the path of uncertainty. Enjoy the excitement, the newness. You are made for it. Okay, well, thanks for coming to the In Industry Astrology Solar Eclipse Forecast. I do offer one-on-one -on -one, um, readings on Zoom. You can book a, a reading with me, a tarot reading or a Vedic Astrology reading. Um, in the link below, I will include in the description window and check out my website and my blog. Get on my newsletter, it's free. And also subscribe to this YouTube channel. And be sure to check out my upcoming forecast class for 2022. It's going to be um, a very interesting year with some really unusual alignments. So check it out and find out what it means for you. And I will see you soon on the next full moon. Bye.